What is on going on guys? It is Robbie T here and today we are here with another F1 2017 gameplay video for you guys today. And this is going to be the first modern F1 cars race. So basically the, the 2017 cars this time in terms of Grand Primo. We haven't driven the 2017 cars yet except for time trial. So this is going to be the first race that we'll do with them in this game. And I can tell you guys now that these 2017 cars have so much more downforce and traction compared to the classic cars which is absolutely unbelievable to hear from so we're going to drive as Lance Stroll at his home Grand Prix at Canada for just a simple free lap race and just to let you know guys that for the first time on this channel you will see me use a racing wheel that's right my Thrustmaster T150 racing wheel that I have for my PS4. I'll be using it for the first time in a recording ever on this channel. So you guys can see just why I would like to transfer to the wheel from the pad on the modern F1 games now. And I can't wait to see how it goes. Perhaps I'll be quite good at the wheel. Don't be surprised if I'm not, but let's get on with the race. So... We're starting on the grid, but I don't know where we're starting, but uh, I hope we're starting in a good position. As we go into the five, five red lights. And we are underway for this race. It's a pretty decent start, getting past Romain and Grosjean already as we come towards turn number one. Of course with the wheel, the braking and the accelerator is a lot harder. Make contact there with a Sauber, I think that was. Yeah, Pascal Verlein. Who gets past us? That's not good if this hour ever takes you. We come towards the next few corners now. We cut the corner ever so slightly as we're trying to catch up to Pascal Verline. Can we make a move down the inside? It'd be our first overtake on the wheel. We have a little look. Verline leaves the door open there, but we couldn't squeeze down the inside. And now I have to watch out for Esteban Ocon behind in the Force India. But no, we have a run on Pascal Verline round the outside. Very close to contact. We don't manage to make the corner, so we're going to have to cut across chicane. We actually went the wrong way on that chicane for some reason. Should have gone round the bar, not in front of it. And there's contact between us and... I think that was Kevin Magnussen and... Well, let's forget about that attempt, shall we? Because I don't know what happened there. I think it was... I think Magnussen just didn't see me cut across him. And unfortunately, we're going to have to retry that. And since this is a very short video, only three lap race, I just le left that part in there. But now we're underway for our second attempt. Hopefully, this is the final one. As we make side bit of contact with Sergio Perez, our favourite driver. I hate making contact with Perez. And we actually get a warning for that. That's uh, very surprising, to be honest. As we stay in P11. No, oh, oh God, he goes down the inside. We squeeze him out of the road and uh, back into P11. But wow. Already, compared to F1 2016, the 2017 AI, wow, they're aggressive. They're so much more aggressive. You really have to work for your overtakes and make sure you leave enough room for them out of corners and in corners. As we stay in P11, trying to catch up to the pack in front, but I ra really, really doubt that. Because it seems like, because of the no slipstream compared to F1 2016 where it was so overpowered as we lock up a little bit into the, the hairpin there but compared to the slipstream of F1 2016 which was so overpowering what that means is that now that the slipstream is non-existent it's harder to overtake both in the straight line and in corners you really have to go for overtakes and make them work and it's a, a much better challenge it's it, you can really feel rewarded when you make an overtake as we end the first lap and so far the feeling on this T150 racing wheel I definitely feel it's more enjoyable than the pads in terms of getting the car into corners because you're you're actually feeling like a racing driver as a con in a controller that it's so it's ridiculously sensitive so it's not as fun and the turning circle is not enough either as we lock up once again into that hairpin I really need to do work on my braking zones through those hairpins, especially that one there in the future. But as you can see, Sergio Perez and the pack in front have pretty completely gone off into the distance. So points are out of the question, it looks like. All we need to do now 
is just make sure that Esteban Ocon doesn't get in front of us. As Raikkonen sets the fast lap of the race, but he's not leading it. I think Hamilton is, so... Looks like Lewis Hamilton is going to be the first race winner of the modern car era on this game. Or my game, at least. As now we skip on to... We're still on the last lap of the race. So we're in the second sector, and you can see in the mirrors there... Esteban Ocon is a lot closer than he was before, and... I think he really wants to overtake me at this rate. And Ocon is also one of my uh, more respected drivers on the Formula 1 grid. Because he's a youngster and he has so much potential in him. And he's a relatively clean racer. If not for teammates. <laughs> Less said that the better. As we make yet another lock up into the hairpin. So I think we might be under pressure from Ocon here. The Force India versus Williams. Pretty much similar on straight line speed. But I think the Williams might just have the legs on the Force India, even though it has the same power unit. We have the Mercedes power unit. As we come towards the final chicane, I think we're just about to, about to hold off Esteban Ocon here as Hamilton wins the race. But we're going to come across the line for 11th place. I'll take that. I will take 11th place. I wasn't expecting to get points with this wheel anyway, because my first proper gameplay recorded of it. And as you can see, very impressed Total Wolf there. Very happy with Hamilton's win. Lewis Hamilton, just like F1 2016, becomes the first winner on my F1 2017 game. On F1 2016 game, Hamilton also won that race, believe it or not. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Proves that maybe Hamilton's the fastest driver in the game and not Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> Who knows? Daniel Kvyat, not very happy in 14th place. I mean, it's an okay result for Toro Rosso, in my opinion. If I'm being honest and as you can see the podium celebrations I really love these podium celebrations on this game there's so much realism compared to the last game and the faces just look so much more real you see that Hamilton and the two Ferraris on the podium spraying the champagne and it's so nice to see the cutscenes being updated and as you can see with these results Hamilton wins Vettel second Raikkonen finishing on the podium Sergio Perez was the last of point scorers. So well done to my favourite driver for just beating us there by five seconds. So, yep. And we scroll down right to the bottom of the field where we see poor Stoffel Van Dorn in at the McLaren Honda finishing dead last place. Shame for him because I thought Saab would be slower than McLaren Honda. But it seems like with the amount of straights on this track... I was completely right. A lot so also down the 19th. So both McLaren Hondas. Poor races from them. But so that is the end of the video guys. A very quick video. The first gameplay of the modern F1 cars on F1 2017. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to be better on this wheel than what I had in that race. Because I really do want to move straight onto the wheel in the future. Like I'm subscribe if you're new around here. Looks like the pad days are over for me. Not a modern F1 games. But anyway. See you guys later. Bye bye.